In this video, we are drawing straight line graphs. The first question says complete the table of values for y equals 2x minus 1. So the equation of our line is y equals 2x minus 1. And we've been given a table to complete. And the x values that we've been given in the table are going to be our x coordinates and we're going to use these we're going to substitute each of them in one by one into the equation of the line to find the y coordinates i'm going to start with the positives because you're less likely to make a mistake substituting in positive numbers so we're going to start with four we're going to start by substituting in x is four into our equation so y is going to be equal to 2x's take away 1. So when x is 4, we've got 2 4's take away 1. 2 4's are 8. 8 take away 1 is 7. Now I'm going to use 3. x is 3. 2 3's are 6. Take away 1 is 5. Now we're going to substitute in x is 2. Two twos are four, take away one is three. Two ones are two, take away one is one. And zero, two zeros are zero, take away one is negative one. Now negative one, two negative ones are negative two. And then negative two, take away one, Negative 2 down 1 is negative 3. And negative 2, 2 negative 2s are negative 4. Negative 4 take away 1 is negative 5. And you should be able to see a pattern here. So we've got the same gap between each of our numbers, each of our y values. And it's going up by 2 every time. So that's going to make it a straight line, the same gap every time. So now we can plot these onto our graph. These are our coordinates. So x is 4, y is 7. That's the coordinates, 4, 7. 3, 5. x is 3, y is 5, and so on. So we can plot these coordinates on the graph and then join them up. So we've got 4, 7. 3, 5, 2, 3, 1, 1, 0, negative 1, negative 1, negative 3, and negative 2, negative 5. So you can see that they've lined up in a straight line. If they didn't, we'd have to check for mistakes. If one of the points was off, there will be a mistake with the working out of that point. So there is our graph. So we've joined it up with a ruler, with a straight line, and that is it. Okay, one for you to try. So complete the table of values for y equals 3x plus 1, and if you're able to, also draw the graph. So the equation this time is y equals 3x plus 1. So we're going to start by substituting in 2. So when x is 2, what is y? So 3 times 2 is 6. 6 plus 1 is 7. 3 1s that's 3, plus 1 is 4. 3 zeros, a 0, plus 1 is 1. 3 negative 1s make negative 3. Negative 3 plus 1 is negative 2. And 3 negative 2s make negative 6, plus 1, negative 5. And again, you'll see there's the same difference between each of the y values. And that will make it a straight line.
So we've got negative 2, negative 5. We've got negative 1, negative 2. 0, 1. 1, 4. And 2, 7. So our points have lined up in a straight line. And we're going to get a ruler and join them up. Join them up for straight line. And that is our graph. Here we have another example. This time our equation is in a slightly different form. So this time the equation says x plus y equals 2. But apart from that, we're still doing the same thing. We've got a table of values. We've been given the x coordinates and we need to use them to work out the y coordinates. So when x is 3, what is y? So if x is 3, I'm going to write this down. So that will say 3 plus y equals 2. So what is y? So to get y by itself, we can take 3 away from both sides. So if you take 3 away from both sides, as long as you do the same thing to both sides, it will stay equal. So if I subtract 3 from both sides, I'll have 2 minus 3 on the right side, which is negative 1. And then for the second one, if x is 2, what's my equation worth? Well, it will say 2 plus y equals 2. But then if I take 2 away from both sides, that gives me y is equal to nothing. So we've got 0. And we can keep going like this. So if x is 1, my equation will be 1 plus y equals 2. If I take 1 away from both sides, I'll get y is equal to 1. And then you can start to see this pattern forming. And we could just complete the table now. I'll do one more. So if x is 0... We've got 0 plus y equals 2. Well, if, if nothing plus y is 2, y is 2. So you can start to see, going from right to left, it's going up by 1. Or going from left to right, it's going down by 1. So we're going to have 3 and 4. So negative 2 plus 4 makes 2. Negative 1 and 3 add to make 2. 0 and 2 add to make 2, 1 and 1 add to make 2, so each of these pairs add to make 2. And we can plot this on the graph the same as before, so each of these are coordinates. x is 3, y is negative 1, so 3, negative 1. x is 2, y is 0. We've got 1, 1, 0, 2 negative 1, 3, and negative 2, 4. So there's our line. It's a straight line. We can join this up. And that is our graph. The graph of x plus y equals 2. And another one. So one for you to try. Try and complete the table of values for the graph 2x plus y equals 3. Okay, so 2x's plus y equals 3. So let's substitute in our x values to find our y coordinates again. So 2x plus y equals 3. If x is 3, we can substitute that in. So 2 3's plus y equals 3. Two threes are 6. So 6 plus y equals 3. And then if we take 6 away from both sides, we get y by itself. 
So take 6 away from both sides. 3 minus 6 is negative 3. How about 2? So we do the same thing again, but this time change x into 2. So 2 2s plus y equals 3. 2 2s are 4. So 4 plus y is 3. And then take 4 away from both sides to get y by itself. Which gives us negative 1. And again, we could do the same thing with 1. So 2 1s plus y equals 3. 2 1s are 2. 2 plus y is 3. Take 2 away from both sides. So y is 1. And you might be able to spot the pattern already. We'll do one more. So 2 zeros plus y is 3. Two zeros are nothing. So zero plus y is three. So y is three. And we can see it's going from right to left, going up in twos, or from left to right, going down in twos. So let's plot the graph. Negative two, seven. Negative 1, 5, 0, 3, 1, 1, 2, negative 1, and 3, negative 3. And again, join them up for a straight line, and that is our graph. Here we have another example. This time we have not been given the table of values, we have just been given the equation of a line. We've got y equals 2x plus 1, and we are being asked to draw the graph. So how do we do it without a table of values? Well, we can make our own. So we can make our own table of values with x and y. How would we know which x coordinates to use? Well, we can see from the graph the x values that are in the graph, on the graph, we've got negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, and 3. We don't need to work out all of them. As long as you do three sets of coordinates, as long as you get three sets of coordinates and they line up in a straight line, you can extend them across the page. So you could fill out the entire table as we did before, or you could just fill out some of it and then extend the line. So let's substitute in. So let's get the y coordinates by substituting our x coordinates into the equation. So y is equal to 2x's plus 1. So if we put 3 in, 2 3's are 6, plus 1 is 7. 2 2's are 4, plus 1 is 5. 2 1's are 2, plus 1 is 3. 2 zeros are nothing, plus 1 is 1. And so we could spot the pattern here. We could see it's going up in 2 every time. So we could keep going and work out our other values. Or we could just plot these four points. So 0, 1, 1, 3. 2, 5, and 3, 7, and extend the line down. So either one of those, we could spot the pattern, say it's going from right to left, going down in 2 every time. So take away 2, take away 2, take away 2. And then we've got all of the coordinates to plot, or... We could draw this line and just extend it, extend it down, and that is our graph. So either way, you should end up with the same graph. Okay, one for you to try.
So draw the graph for y equals 3x plus 2. So this time, there's only five x values on the graph. We have negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. So let's use the x coordinates to find the y coordinates. So substitute the x coordinates into the equation. Three twos are six, plus two is eight. Three ones make three, plus two is five. Three zeros is nothing, plus two is two. So we've got enough to draw our line now. We could keep going though. Three negative ones are negative three plus two so negative three up two is negative one and three negative twos negative six and up two plus two is negative four so let's plot these coordinates negative two negative four negative one negative one zero two one five and two eight and join them up with a straight line. And that is our graph. Okay, one question to finish up. So pause the video, give it a go, and press play when you're ready for the answers. So complete the table of values for y equals 2x plus 2. So y is 2 times x plus 2. So let's start with the positives again. 2 threes, 2 times 3 is 6, plus 2 is 8. 2 twos are 4, plus 2 is 6. 2 ones are 2, plus 2 is 4. Two zeros are zero plus two is two, and you can see the pattern. So we just take off two, so it's going up in twos. Let's go backwards, we'll take away two, take away two, take away two. So draw the graph. So let's plot these points, plot the coordinates. So negative three, negative four negative 2, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 0, 2, 1, 4, 2, 6, and 3, 8. So we've got a straight line. So join them up. And that is our graph. Part C says, use your graph to find the value of x when y is 3. So where on our line is y equal to 3? So y is 3 here. So this is our point that we're looking for. This is the point on the line where y is equal to 3. And let's read off the x coordinate. And that is 0 0.5. So the answer is 0 0.5.